Hi, my name is Bruce Starr. I'm a television and radio talk show host and producer. And today, I'm very, very happy to be interviewing Elaine Rudner. Elaine is 88 years old. She lives in Hollywood, Florida. She's had an incredible life, very accomplished, and I'm honored to be interviewing her as part of my legacy series. Elaine, please, tell me a little bit about you. I'm Elaine Rudner. I'm 88 years old. I will be 89 in June. And I think I just wanted to tell things that my children may not remember about me. I would let things that my grandchildren should know. I can't write it all down. My hands don't work um, too well. It's difficult for me to do things. A couple of surgeries, not be able to walk. All of these things have suddenly focused at one particular time in my life. I'd like to be able to get up and run. I'd like to be able to walk. I'd like to be able to dance again, but I can't. And I have realized I've done a lot in my life. And I have changed professions three times. I've done fairly well, not financially, but I have done fairly well in all of them. I've lived in the same house for 51 years. I'm now in a retirement home, and I didn't think I would ever be in this kind of a place. And I'm in a very wonderful home, but it's not like being on your own. Something interesting that happened to me last week, I had a manicure, and the manicurist said to me, you have beautiful nails, and I said, I never had such gorgeous nails. I don't do anything. I don't cook. I don't shop. I don't garden. I don't do any of the things that I used to do. This is a different world. This is an entirely different life for me. I would like to be back in a classroom, I think. I would like to be lecturing. I didn't teach children. I was a college professor. And how did I get to do that? I somehow don't even think about it. I graduated from a college in New York City. I grew up in New York City. I grew up in a third floor walking, a walk-up tenement. Yiddish was my first language. I spoke almost no English until I went to public school when I was about somewhere between six and seven years old. I was very short. I was in an Irish Catholic German neighborhood, the only Jewish kid for miles around. So I know what it is to be called all the names that there are. But I would answer back in German, and then they would leave me alone. My maiden name was Deutsch, Sprachen Sie Deutsch, which means, do you speak German? And everybody would ask me that, and I would answer them in Yiddish, and they didn't know the difference half of the time. Aside from all those other problems of not being outside on the street, my sight was very poor. I didn't realize that, but I didn't know how to read. I was down in the street one day, and I was jumping rope with little girls. That's taking two ends of the rope and you jump in the middle. I don't know if kids jump rope anymore today. I don't think so. I think they're all on game, video games. But I was jumping rope, and I was wearing my glasses. Glasses? Oh, I was the first kid to wear glasses. I was six years old. I was the first kid in my little class to wear glasses. Well, I dropped my glasses, and I stepped on them, and my glasses broke, and my world broke at the same time because when I came back upstairs to my fourth floor walk-up tenement, and my mother saw it, Mama cried. And when Papa came home from work, Papa cried more 